Hey everyone, this is Chris Mathis, executive producer of Let's Help Her Win. After being a business coach for well over a decade and working with thousands of entrepreneurs all over the world, the majority of those being amazing women business owners who come to the table with amazing ideas that they come saying, how do I take this idea and turn it into something that can later bless my family? One thing that I've learned in this process is that women are faced with a number of obstacles that a lot of us simply cannot relate to. And those obstacles typically are access to capital, access to other resources, and access to mentoring. After hearing this story over and over and over again over the years, I, I, I sat down and I thought to myself, how can I come up with something that can address these challenges that women deal with in business every day? And that's when I come up with this idea called Let's Help Her Win. The whole purpose was being able to find women who are ready for that next level of growth, who are ready for that next level of support, and they're seeking this thing that says, if I can get the help that I need, I can take this business from where I am to where I need to be. So we assembled a group of investors who all shared the same vision. The vision was, how can we better support women? How can we give her access to capital? How can we give her access to the resources she needs to grow her business? And can we come along and mentor her through the process of taking her business to the next level? All of our investors have agreed to put up their own money to invest in women. These are people that I like, I know, and I trust. I know their hearts are in the right places, and I know that together we can make positive change in our community. So our goal is to sit down, find the right women, find the right ideas, bring her to the table, listen to her, hear her out, hear what she needs in her business, and then together we figure out how to help her win. So I wanna take a quick moment as well to thank all of you who are watching today. We appreciate, we value you, we, we are thankful that you took time out of your busy schedules to listen to our stories and the women that are gonna be sharing their stories on every episode to come after this. I'm thankful to all of our community partners, those who have helped us put this together, who have sponsored and helped fund this entire journey. I'm thankful to our team, our production team, my assistants, and the rest of our team who have all played a role in helping this idea that was once a thing in my head come out and become a reality. And so now with that being said, let us show you how we help her win. Grand Rapids, Michigan, known as Furniture City, the home of our prize in Fear City, USA. Today, Grand Rapids is being redefined by its newest movement created by women entrepreneurs and business owners. As one of the fastest growing movements in the country, women entrepreneurs are taking the country by storm and showing us how business gets done. Women in business have helped shape the culture and have become an inspiration to so many who are watching. This new emergence of women entrepreneurs comes with setbacks and challenges, something women in business know all too well. We understand the challenges that women in business face, and that's why we're here to help her win. Hi, I'm your co-host, Emira Austin. Dozens of women came to us with one goal in mind, the goal of securing an investor for their business and earning their shot at the American dream. They wanted to see their business grow, but they're looking for the right help and support to do it. After spending months working through how we can better support women in business, Chris Mathis had an idea. He then assembled a team of successful business owners and investors who believe that investing in women-owned businesses is the way to go. Our team has gone through a ton of applications, interviews, and conversations to find the right businesses we believe we can help win. So we found 12 amazing women-owned businesses who came to Let's Help Her Win to get their shot. We believe if she has the vision, if she has the drive, then one of our investors is ready to help her win. My name is Destiny Adams, born and raised in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I got my start in 2016 when I started a hair extension boutique, which eventually turned into a salon. 
During that time period when I was open, I was able to see a tremendous amount of sales. But as we know, in 2019, that's when the pandemic happened. And during that time, the salons were closed in Michigan. So I had this bright idea that I, one, needed to make sales because I still had bills to pay. So I got on YouTube and I started helping other people start their hair business journey. And one of the things that I was really big on is that if I knew I needed to make sales, then I knew a lot of other hair business owners and hair extension boutiques needed to make sales. So that was the premise of my content. I started teaching videos on how they can find vendors for a lot cheaper than what they were previously doing. And I showed them how to make sales online. My name is Teresa Mosley. I'm the owner of Mosley School of Cosmetology um, and Outsource Angels. I started Mosley School of Cosmetology in 2016. I had a desire one day. Um, I was already in school to become a licensed instructor. And one day I felt like God put a desire in my heart to want to open a school. And so when it came that time to open my school, I was so excited, but I did not have any money. And so one thing that I love about God is when he put desire in your heart, he also make a way out of no way for you to achieve your goals. And so I was able to open my school with $1,600 in my bank account. And now my school is worth two point one million dollars um, and so one thing that I love about that is I have an opportunity to educate motivate and encourage other people to be great my name is Stephanie Scott Kolakowski I am a wife I'm a mom I'm an entrepreneur here in Grand Rapids in this journey and I started a company called Grow Business today so a marketing and growth agency that was focused in really on empowering people planet profit and purpose but looking at the skills that I had in business consulting and marketing and helping other people to grow business and make money. Um, saying how can I do this not just for anybody but work with people who were aligned with that same core values. So after forming Grow Business Today and helping women own businesses, I said how can we create a space for others based on things that I know I needed when I got started, which was just like the space that met you where you are. Hola a todos, my name is Carla Velis Brito and I was born and raised in San Salvador, El Salvador. I come from a family of teachers, pastors, and entrepreneurs. And as a kid, I saw entrepreneurs in my family, my grandmothers selling shoes and also at the marketplace. That was very inspiring. However, there was a lot of instability economically, war, and in the middle of so many struggles, my family taught me about resiliency. I came to the United States about nine, 10 years ago, and I have been on that pursuit of the American dream. A year ago, I am the director of Spring GR, which is a nonprofit that helps people start and scale their business. And it is my passion to see those business ideas turn into a profitable business. Let's help her win. Welcome to Let's Help Her Win. I'm Elise Coote, your co-host and professional cheerleader, and I'm so excited to be here with our first contestant of the season, Samantha. Tell us how you're feeling. Feeling really excited and a little nervous, but really excited. You've got this, go get them. I would say my biggest obstacle as an entrepreneur would be just being a first generation Latina. So my parents are immigrants from Mexico and um, didn't really have a lot of funds. I never had financial support, so I had to do it all on my own. I'm sure a lot of entrepreneurs have done that, but during my esthetician program, my mom was almost going to be deported. So it was really a hard time for me and I was going to drop out, but I kind of kept pushing because my parents made a life here and I knew that if they could do it, I could do it too. Good afternoon everyone. I'm Samantha Reyna, owner of Reyna Aesthetics and I'm excited to be here today to share with you an exciting business opportunity in the skincare industry. I'm a licensed esthetician and certified acne specialist with six years of experience and I've witnessed the transformation and power of quality skincare treatments in many acne sufferers in the Grand Rapids area, including for myself. Um, sorry. Have you ever wondered why in a, in a world filled with thousands and thousands of skincare products, 
People still seem to struggle with finding what works for their skin and still struggle with acne. People of all ages struggle with many different kinds of skin conditions, acne being number one, affecting up to 50 million Americans annually. Acne is beyond just a physical thing, but it affects people's mental health and overall well-being. And I know exactly what that feels like because I was the only one in my family to suffer with severe acne. Growing up, my family or my parents didn't have the funds or the education or guidance to really help my skin condition. So for many years, I believe my skin would just never be normal or be clear. I know what it's like to miss out on social events, uh, avoid pictures being taken of me, and even avoid eye contact because of the way my skin looked. But that's when I took matters into my own hands and became a certified acne specialist. I've come up with a specialized approach to help people with all different kinds of skin conditions and I make sure to stay up to date to the most uh, effective and most uh, the latest uh, skincare treatments to help people uh, clear their skin. My target audience is both men and women from the ages 25 years old to 35 years old that have an income of $60,000 a year or higher that are willing to commit to self-care and overall skin health. I want to share a quick accomplishment that I've made over the two years of having my business open. The first year of business, I made a total of $10,000, and now in my second year of business, I made a total of $45,000, and I'm on route of making $60,000 this year. Today, I'm seeking an investment of $3,000 in exchange of 5% equity in my business. The $3,000 will go towards marketing strategies and website design. And I'm also seeking an investor that is willing to commit to take time out of their busy schedule to guide me and mentor me during this journey so that I can become the best business owner I can be. The marketing strategies will help me reach potential clients in the local area and website design will help my current clients become or have an even better online experience and revamp my booking system and my current website. In conclusion, if you invest in my business today, you're not only helping a passionate esthetician, but you're helping me redefine the skincare journey for many people in our local community. And you're helping me also create a long lasting effect in many acne sufferers' lives in the Grand Rapids area. I have some pictures here. Um, I kind of printed these out. These are my, um, first of all, the first one is my skin. when. I had a very bad flare up. I also have some before and afters of my most recent clients that I've had. Um, so you can really see the change that I make in their skin. And I have a few more. I'm not sure if you want to see a couple more, but I'm open to any discussions or questions that you may have. And are you receiving these products wholesale? I am, yes. Is that an area of your business that you look to get into in the future, the product side, or do you want to stay right in the niche that you're in right now? I want to stay where I am right now. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think the skincare side or creating products is something um, in my future. I don't really see that for myself. Okay. So in your target market, you talk about um, ages from 25 to 35. Um, have you explored or done anything with targeting parents but the service release for the kids and I'm assuming also in the teenage years as you're talking about your story mm -hmm. um, tapping into that target as well. Yes so actually a lot of my clients are parents and they have brought their children I kind of just say 25 to 35 because these um, these treatments can be very costly and so can the products so a lot of the times you know teenagers don't have the budget for it but I service people of all ages. Do you have any strategic partnerships right now with, uh, I know you're buying wholesale, which is great, but as in, I know you were speaking into the influencer mm -hmm. side of things, which is clearly an opportunity for her as well. Mm -hmm. But in terms of co-op dollars, um, so co-op dollars meaning some of the people that you're buying wholesale from want to get their marketing out in the hands of more too. Mm -hmm. So once you get to a certain point, like in growth or individuals or orders they can quote count on, mm -hmm. it's good for them. That is actually something I haven't looked okay. into, yeah. Have you consulted yet with any website or marketing? I mean, we all up here, that's mm -hmm. kind of our thing, you know, as women entrepreneurs, social capital, 
and building and growing your brand is super important. Mm -hmm. um, are you working with anybody right now in terms of that? No, I've, I've done my research, uh, but I really haven't reached out to anyone yet. I've kind of just been doing it all on my own for so long and I know that's something that I need to do to uh, you know, scale my business to another level and for that's sure. kind of why I'm here today. I, I want to take that step forward in my business. And so right now you you need to build your whole brand, it sounds like. Uh, yeah, just I, I would say um, the marketing would just help uh, for more people to find me. I actually don't have an, an actual website yet. Okay. I just have a booking system. Do so you have I, a logo? I don't. Okay, no. so yeah, that's, that's what I mean when building your brand, building that logo, mm -hmm. the website, your color theme, yes. everything to build the structure of your brand. Yes. Okay. Um, as you talked about your story about acne, that was one of the things that I suffered with as a kid. I remember they used to call me Star Crunch. I mean, I had really bad acne. And my mom definitely did not have the money because I was like 12, 13. Yeah. She didn't have the funds to be able to help me take care of it other than going to the store, grabbing something off the shelf. Um, so do you think more of the teenage? Because some parents, especially in our in this area, mm -hmm. you know, have the funds to be able to support their children to help them take care of their skin. Yep. So do you think that focusing probably on the 14 to 18, because that's the area that I really believe those hormones are going crazy and yes. you suffer with a lot of acne during that time. I do agree with that. Um, studies have shown that a lot of people are developing acne at a later age, so 25 okay. to 35, especially in women, it's been more common for acne to develop. So I think that's also why I've marketed more towards that range. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Just got done with my pitch. I'm super excited that it's finally over, but um, I think I did a good job. I actually um, was super nervous, but I think it, it went pretty well. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Shannon. And on behalf of Consumers Credit Union, we're thrilled to be sponsoring the Let's Help Her Win competition. And we're really inspired by the women business owners this event celebrates. For sure, you know, the Consumers Business Services team helps companies and organizations of all kinds pursue their goals. This certainly includes lots of women-owned businesses from across West Michigan. We're proud to call them Consumers Credit Union business members. Like One Bold Step, a unique Grand Rapids marketing firm that takes a strategic approach to everything from marketing plans to HubSpot Consulting, and Rio City Tire on Auto, whose female owner is delivering great expertise and service in the traditionally male-owned tire and auto repair industry. And how about the owner of Galagetza Designs? This consumer's business member is on a mission to share her Mexican heritage by offering locally owned, handcrafted goods by dozens of artisans from all around Mexico. There are so many impressive stories among our business members, and we can't wait to see how the women in Let's Help Her Win add new chapters to their business stories through this rewarding competition because we're all winners when women owned and women led businesses succeed. I'm here with our next contestant, Ashley. Hi. I'm dying to know what's going through your mind right now. Uh, I'm excited, I'm nervous, but more excited than nervous, I'm just hoping that I don't forget anything. <laughs> You've got this, go get them. Awesome. My journey has been, yeah, a roller coaster. I struggled a lot, so I just know that if I can show my little sisters and my family that I can do it, so can they. Hello, my name is Ashley Sanchez Minaya and I'm a licensed cosmetologist of six years specializing in rizos, curly hair. And I am asking for $1,800 for, oh, $1,800 and a marketing uh, savvy partner for exchange of 8% of my business. Did you know that 65% of the population in the U.S. has textured hair such as curly, coily, and wavy, and most people with it have had a love-hate relationship with their hair, including myself. They often believe and are told that their hair is too frizzy, too wild, pelo malo, bad hair, unmanageable, and our favorite, unprofessional. 
And when someone tries to embrace their natural texture, they end up leaving the salon feeling unheard, with a messed up haircut, or with damaged curls. And that's because there is a shortage of professionals who are properly educated in providing quality curl services such as cutting, coloring, styling, and blow drying, all without compromising the curl texture. Sorry. You're doing great. Yes, yes, you got it. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Keep it going, girl. Um, this is why I have dedicated my time to fully understanding curly hair and mastering the art of cutting it and shaping it to the right texture and coloring it without compromising the curl texture. I believe that our hair is one of the only accessories we can't take off. This is why I created House of Thesos. I wanted a space where all curl textures were embraced and celebrated and where every service is tailored to the client's hair needs and lifestyle. I take pride in understanding my clients' wants and needs by asking in-depth questions that help uncover the root of any underlining issues with their hair. And I make sure that my clients leave my chair with an understanding of their current hair health status and the game plan that we've created to restore curl confidence. Online platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Google, and my website are ways that I promote brand awareness. I utilize Facebook and Instagram to engage with others and to give easy at-home tips and curl education. My target audience are women ages 25 to 45 uh, with an annual income of $50,000 to $100,000 a year. With the mainstream of revenue being hair cutting, I charge my new clients $220 and $385. This year, I have increased sales by $1,200 every month in just 10 months compared to last year, um, a full 12 months. And this year, I have seen 200 new clients. With the help of the investment, I want to put that towards ads to continue running ads and I plan to increase 60% in my business with the help of a partner who is marketing savvy, who understands how to share stories, who can tell my story, my client's stories um, through video, through photos, and a partner who can help me create content for educational purposes because I am all about the education with curly hair. Um, I'm excited to just take House of Faces to the next level. Who's ready to join me? Nice job. I am. Nice job. <laughs> I definitely love the curls. I'm, I just want to touch them. Can I yeah. touch them? <laughs> I can touch these curls. Like, I love her hair. Point. You could just see what product are you using? So, Is it a particular product? I, okay, so I use a mixture of products. I have one line that I love, love, love. Okay. But I'm right now kind of playing around with the new line. Um, one of them, my favorite one is Design Me, but okay. I'm playing with Innersense right now. Love it, love it. Um, I would love to hear more about your target market, which you mentioned, um, mm -hmm. but very specifically because I can mm -hmm. see the Spanglish. Mm -hmm. and I love that and I, I'm just curious too to see uh, if that plays in your target market. Yes, so when I said 25 to 45, that's more because I've been running ads and that's just kind of the data that I've been getting. And with the Spanglish and the name, I just really wanted everything about the businesses for my clients. But the name was a little bit more for me. Um, I just really wanted to bring in my culture a little bit. I just wanted, it's who I am. I'm, I'm Dominican, I'm from here, and I want the English and Spanish together. That's wonderful. So what's holding you back now from starting, is that what that $1,800 is gonna be? That will go towards ads. I've been running ads and I want to build more brand awareness. Okay. Since I've been doing this on my own for 10 months now, I just, I've been getting a lot of people in. I've seen 200 new, new clients just this year and I just need to keep reaching more people. Well, we definitely can help in that arena. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I love that. And I just wanna know, so when it comes to your ads, what type of ads are you running? Right now, I'm doing, currently, I have a Google ad right now. Mm -hmm. I've done Facebook and Instagram. I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm okay. just doing it and trying to learn in the process. Um, but right now, I currently have a Google ad. Like, I can see you more on YouTube, and even with having a YouTube channel and just driving traffic, YouTube, TikTok, mm -hmm. like, it's gonna take away from the amount that you even need to spend on ads. 
I don't know who else could help me, to be honest with that, because I could do the videos. That well, there's people. Easy oh, there's people. I, I, know there's people. People. I just don't You have photographers, yeah. videographers here. <laughs> to assisting company, <laughs> and that's what we do for yeah. companies. They send us, whether they got a restaurant, a salon, they send us over the um, content, and we put it together, and we make fabulous videos for them. Nice. Mm -hmm. So that way, your job would be what Destiny said, setting up the the video and just mm -hmm. capturing those moments that you can send over and somebody can actually put together a video that's attracting clients. I would love to do some daydreaming here. Um, in five years from today, wh where do you see House of Risos? Where do you see yourself? Like, what what's the big dream? Okay, so I want a salon. I want a curly, just like an all curly specialty salon. I would love to have that. I want, I know how hard it was for me to just in the beauty industry, like, they don't teach a lot about the business. They don't, so I went into it not knowing anything. I just did it and I learned every step of the way. So I would love to just help other stylists um, have a home where they can learn, where they can grow. If they want a forever home, I want to provide that as well. But I really, I want to give them what I didn't have to make it easier for them and I just, there's, not enough of us curl specialists in Grand Rapids, so it would be nice to have more because as much as I want a lot of clients, I can't have everyone. There's only one of me and a lot of people. So many hours behind the chair. Yes, and I don't yes. want to work behind the chair forever, so I would love to kind of step away from the chair a little bit and venture out and do other things to make other um, streams of income. <laughs> Thank you so much for, you. for sharing your time today. You were awesome. We love your energy. One thing, when you came out here, you was pumped up. Mm -hmm. Love the curls. I mean, when I said them curls are giving life over there, for real. I'm like, Thank you. let curl my wig for me or something. I, 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 and I'm not even going to lie, I started her on Tuesday. So I've been working on this from okay. Tuesday till this morning okay. to set wow. everyone. And that just show how long they last. Like, you know, your skill level. Because mm -hmm. these curls are still popping days later, which is great. But we really want to thank you for your time, for your energy, and have a wonderful day. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck. Nice thank job, you. ladies. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I am still a little bit in shock that I actually did that without tripping, without crying. Um, I'm, I'm so thankful for everyone that supported me and all my, my models that came and supported me today was just awesome. Um, I Now I know that if I can do this, I literally can do anything because I just faced my biggest fears. Um, I know it doesn't seem like it, but I'm super shy. And um, speaking in front of people, in front of cameras, that is scary to me. So now I know I can do anything. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carla Vellis and I'm the director of Spring GR. My name is Jamel Eddy. I'm the director of business growth at Spring GR. At Spring GR, we believe every business idea has a chance in the marketplace. Around 70% of the entrepreneurs that we serve are women. So we're very excited to be part of this project with Let's Help Her Win to see them win. And we believe in business growth. We believe that every business has the ability to scale, to grow, and to be what you want it to be. So check us out at SpringGR.com. We offer multiple programs for the early stage entrepreneur and a growing business. We're happy to help and happy to talk about business. Well, we're off to an epic start today at Let's Help Her Win. And next up, pitching to our room of investors is Manika. Monika, tell me a little bit about how you've been psyching yourself up for this moment today. <laughs> Trying to stay calm. A um, little nervous, but I don't know why, because I've done several pitches before. But I'm trying to get the jitters out of me and Absolutely. not be nervous and just be confident and go in there with the bang. You're prepared, you know your stuff. Now go blow them away. Yeah. And I started with a cake pop. And that cake pop just grew into custom cakes and everything else. I'm hoping to see that this opportunity to um, scale my business to this next level and potential. The goal is to see how far I can grow it and hopefully one day either sell it or have something for my kids to be able to fall back on.
What would happiness look like in a cake? Unforgettable joy you'll crave. Yes, you heard me right. Cakes bring joy that bring euphoria in every bite. Hi, my name is Monika Beasley, owner of Cakes by the Jar, LLC. We are here seeking $2,500 for 6% of our company. As a self-taught baker for over 20 years and a team with a combined 30 years of business and food experience, we bring single serving cakes that save time, money, and reduce waste. We offer our cakes jars in four signature flavors, which is our strawberry shortcake, our chocolate high toffee milk, our lemon crunch cake, and our vanilla milkshake. The bonus is we maximize freshness with a seven day shelf life and can freeze them up to two plus months. We started our journey as a home-based business in 2016 as Flavorful Pound Cakes and Treats. We rebranded in 2022 as Cakes by the Jar and got fully licensed with the state of Michigan through MDAR and operate our business at the Downtown Market Incubator Kitchen. With the recognition that we've received in the last year and a half, we have gained strong brand awareness and been recognized by numerous people with awards and off. So fall of 2022, we were recognized for Start Garden Demo Day for 2022 and 2023. We won the Edith Raspberry Award from Grand Rapids Area Black-Owned Business in December of 2022. We won Start Garden 5x5 Pitch in April of 2023. In May of 2023, we won the Cuisine Award with the Biz Big Business Women Showcase with sponsored by Huntington Bank and Charity Christine Salon. And just recently, we won the Pitch Black competition as first place winner with small business development. Our target market for our jars are women ages 35 to 44. They have an on-the-go lifestyle, something that's convenient, and they like to find novel products. And our jars fit their lifestyle and the things that they look for in company events or even if they're having birthday parties. We currently are in retail spaces at this time, which is Fulton Street Farmers Market, Stumping Grounds Play Cafe, Bridge Street Market, Art Marketplace at Studio Park, and many pop-ups around West Michigan, as well as we have an online store. Our sales for 2022 was 31,000, and to date we made 38,000, projecting to make a 35% increase to at least bring in 42K for this year. I have samples for each one of you to Ooh, try. Cake. Thank you. I was just getting so hungry. <laughs> yeah. I heard my stomach rumble. I love anything sweet. <laughs> this is for you to take home. This is your sample. Okay. Next. Are you a um, are you a certified women-owned business or minority-owned business? Um, I just got a certification with the Chambers of Commerce because we're now members with them. Okay. So not like the le the actual legal certification for women owned businesses. And the one that I see right here packaged, do mm -hmm. you ship these? Yes, we do ship all over. The furthest we actually shipped was Japan. Okay. So okay. we actually shipped internationally, which is really great. Awesome. How many calories is in one of these? I am still working on that. Okay. I'm actually putting the recipe, I have my recipes together. I just need to put it on the format of the company so they can like everybody us. being healthy. That means zero calories, right. Teresa. Yeah. We right. know right. it's zero. <laughs> zero. Exactly, because I'm like, <laughs> when I'm taking my bath, I'm gonna eat three of these. <laughs> so I love that you are in some of the market retail spaces. And you mentioned Bridge Street Market. How long have you been in Bridge Street Market? We've been in Bridge Street Market since May of this year. Okay. Um, have you done any of the incubator programs through Meyer in scaling? How, what is your capacity right now in terms of growth, like in terms of production? So right now on average, we can produce about 350 to 400 jars in eight hours. So we use, we do it in two days. So we use one day to do all the baking and then the next day is just all production. <laughs> what are you doors. looking for in an investor? Like, your, what's your dream person? If you could pick any of us to work with, what do you want us to be able to bring to the table? So I want a partner to walk alongside of me to help me scale the business to the next level. The goal is to try to keep this business around for at least five to seven years and hopefully be able to sell it. Um, How many jars are you selling per month? I have probably sell an um, estimate, my goal is always estimate about 400 or so jars per month. 
Can your business run without you? Like, are you comfortable giving up your recipes to someone else to be able to mass produce it? That's a good question. Yes, I, well, that is actually my goal. I don't want to continue working in the business. I want to work on it. So I am trying to get to a place where I can have someone else take the role of me. Um, and by me working on that, like right now, I'm actually creating my plans to show people how to produce each jar, how to make it, bake it, and getting creative, so. This is so exciting, and these all, every cake on here look delicious. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm gonna have to buy one of each, you know, <laughs> later on, so when I'm yes. taking my bubble bath. But we really wanna thank you for coming out today. Thank you. Thank you so, so thank much. you so much. Thank Great you. presentation. Thank you for your thank time. You so Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Appreciate these it. are delicious. Thank you. <laughs> I was very nervous. I could feel it in me, like, I feel like I stumbled over my words and missed some things, but I feel like I regained myself and figured it all out once the questions started rolling in and I knew my stuff. So that made me feel a little bit confident in myself. Hi, I'm Enid. Arbor Circle is here to offer guidance and support in times when people experience life's challenges. We understand that while individual journeys toward well being are deeply personal and unique, we all share the unifying goals of individual growth and wellness. We are pleased to support Let's Help Her Win as the mental health and wellness partner. Through our diverse programs, which include services dedicated to the needs of women of color, we are honored to help address their multifaceted needs and challenges every day. Together, we can achieve outcomes that are truly transformational. To create successful partnerships, there is another vital component, supporters like you. Mental well-being is worth the investment. We all want a strong community where everyone, regardless of their challenges, can find their way to growth and healing. Learn more about the ways Arbor Circle is supporting women through our mental health, substance use, and family programs by visiting arborcircle.org. That last pitch was sweet, sweet, sweet. And now I'm excited to introduce our final contestant for today, Patria. I know the road to get here is long and sometimes bumpy, so how does it feel now that you're here? It feels amazing, and I am just super excited to tell the world about goodies. Go tell them who you are. Awesome. As an entrepreneur, my biggest obstacles have been um, just all of the hats that I have to wear. I'm a single mom. Um, the 12-year-old daughter, and while I'm trying to make sure that she is getting all the attention that she requires, um, I'm also wearing several hats in all of my businesses. Um, so just really trying to find and build a team that can help me in the places that I need it to so I can focus on growing my business rather than working in my business. Hi ladies, I am Chef Patria and I am the owner and founder of Goodies. Goodies is an all natural, no preservative baby food that, with the mission to cultivate the palates of our next generation of foodies. And you're probably wondering, what does that even mean? Well, let me tell you, before I became a chef and started my own catering business, I was a server in the fine dining industry for about 12 years. Throughout those 12 years, I probably served at least two, three billion buttered noodles and chicken tenders. And there, I always thought there just has to be better options than this for our kids. So that's how I came up with goodies. You're probably thinking there's a, all kinds of other baby foods on the market um, and it's a very competitive industry. However, let me tell you why we stand out. Goodies is working with chefs from cultures all throughout the world to create recipes that are not currently in the market. Imagine this, an abuelita que puede comprar arroz con pollo y aguacate. That is spelled wrong, by the way. <laughs> aguacate for their, their grandbaby or being able to purchase jollof rice um, in the baby food mop aisle. I firmly believe that with cultivating the palates of our next generation of foodies, we will be able to change the food industry. So I have not launched goodies yet. However, I am in the demo stage. I am working with five goodie babies. Yes, 
It's my goodie babies. Um, and in exchange for them trying out our recipes and giving us feedback, we get to collect valuable data as well as marketing rights. The average cost to make uh, the purees and um, options that we currently have are between 65 to $1.25, 65 cents to $1.25. Um, and we do sell, or we plan to sell them for three to $4, which is a 68 to 75% profit margin. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm curious about then your ask. What's your ask? Oh yes, my <laughs> ask. I'm so sorry. Um, so my ask is for five thousand dollars, which will be used um, to get us into farmers markets, um, help with some of our product testing, so we can get a little bit more recipes out there. And in exchange for the five thousand dollars, I will uh, be giving away fifteen percent equity. Like, what's your projection and what's it based off of in terms of sales? Um, so in terms of sales, it's pretty, so the valuation is I think $33,000, um, which may be a little high because we haven't launched yet. However, based off my following, um, my plans for marketing, um, I'm already working with brand ambassadors who have a large following, who, have, who are either pregnant or have really small babies. Um, so I project that we will do pretty well in our first year. I don't have an exact number though, I don't. So you say you're working with brand ambassadors. So is the product already made or you made some form of the product that they're testing? Yes, yes. So I, with my Goodie Babies, I have made products that they are testing, recipes. Do it have any preservatives in it? Natural preservatives like lemon or honey. Okay. They have a seven day shelf life as of right now, but we are working on trying to extend it. Goodies being an entire brand um, for the next generation. Of What's behind your name? I'm sorry? Your name, how did you come up with your name, Goodies? Goodies, you know, I, I just kept trying to figure out something that rhymed with foodies. <laughs> <laughs> and how many flavors do you plan to launch? Uh, when we initially launch, I have 10 that I plan to launch out with, um, and they are vegetarian just because of how much easier it is to get them on the market. Um, but after about three months, we hope to, you know, add a few more, maybe some seasonal options. Okay. Then I know you're asking for 5,000 to get into the farmer's market. What does that process look like for you? So finishing our licensing, getting more things tested, getting a few more labels, and I've already applied to some farmer's markets. Um, I've talked to some, like the Southeast market, and they said they would be excited to have us in their stores. Okay, and also, who is your target market, and how do you know that they shop at the farmer's market? So, my target market is moms uh, and grandparents who want better options for their kids, who want to be able to feed them um, food from different cultures. Um, why do I know that they shop at the farmer's market? Um, just because I feel like that's a great starting point um, for something that's natural. However, I do plan to expand beyond that. Online sales, um, I wanna create a, like a subscription box where they can kind of customize their orders. There's so many things that I wanna do with goodies. If you could have your dream investor, what would that look like? Um, my dream investor would be someone who is knowledgeable in the product space, um, whether it be with food or not, just as well as someone who I don't is just super business savvy and down to earth and wants to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we love all that. Make some we money. love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love your thinking about the social mission and responsibility already in launching your company and bringing culture together with food. Food is, you know, food, art, music are things that, you know, connect all of us, you know? Um, so I, I do appreciate you thinking through that part of your business too already. First step obviously is making sure we're set up properly. We're getting the licensing. We have a really good five year outlook. Mm -hmm. um, so we can be able to, to do, do that. So I appreciate your pitch today. Thank you so much, ladies. I look forward to working with one of you with goodies. Yeah.
Thank, Thank you for you. coming out. Yeah. And I love your suit, by the way. You look sharp. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This was my first time ever pitching anything for a business, so I'm just glad to have gotten that part over. Um, and just the experience, the uh, relationships that I've already built um, from other contestants here, I'm just so excited, I'm so excited. This is Jason Arntz with Studio Court and Rebel Enterprises. We are a media content creation company and a studio right here in West Michigan. We are absolutely honored to be part of Let's Help Her Win and to support local women creators, businesses, entrepreneurs. As content creators and as a studio, we are completely committed to seeing other women entrepreneurs and business owners expand their own brands and to see them exceed in a noisy industry and helping them break out. On behalf of myself, our studio, our entire media team, we can't wait to meet you. Come tour the space, book your own shoot right here with us, or come create something magical with us. We can't wait to see you soon. My name is Melinda Isasi, and I have the honor of serving as the CEO of Grow, a local micro lender here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. For the last 34 years, Grow has believed in elevating entrepreneurs. And we do that by providing entrepreneurs with access to capital and also knowledge. So if you're a business owner and you're seeking out knowledge, maybe training, additional support, business advising, we wanna be there for you. Additionally, if you're seeking capital for your business, we hope that you would come and check out what Grow has to offer. Our micro loans, which are $50,000 and below, are available to entrepreneurs here on the west side of the state. Perhaps you need to focus on your inventory, hire an individual. Maybe you want to be able to invest in some new technology. We invite entrepreneurs to come and check out everything that Grow has to offer. When we focus on elevating entrepreneurs, wonderful things happen in our community. Welcome back, ladies. Thank you so much for all of you guys, the courage to come out, pitch your business to us. We really appreciate the opportunity for you guys to even let us come in and hear your businesses. But I do want to start with Patria. Patria, I loved your idea. I love the goodies baby food. Such a unique idea. I do see the need for it in the market, but I have no idea what to do when it comes to baby food. And for that reason, I can't help you win. Patricia, I also echo what she said. I love the cultural diversity and the idea behind healthy eating. Everybody deserves that. Can I ask one quick question in golf script? You said you were a chef. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, today, I'm not going to be able to help you win with an investment only because there's some steps that need to be done in the process in order for us to get to a place. I am willing to mentor you and I'm also willing to talk to you offline. Um, there's a program that we're looking to launch um, that would require a chef. So perhaps we can get strategic and discuss that a little bit more. But anybody I work with, integrity is super important to me. So just remember that going forward too. Again, thank you so much for your time. Um, we we love yeah, the idea, the cultural piece that everyone mentioned. Um, to be honest, that's not really my expertise in that industry and um, I think you have other opportunities and other resources that you can tap in first um, and for that reason I cannot help you win. For me, um, right now you don't have a business so you, you starting that off and you're going to have to start from ground level. I love that you're trying to get these chicken nuggets out of people's plate, right? So that's an exciting thing because I have my fair share of chicken nuggets but at this time we cannot help you win. Thank you so much for your time, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Best of luck. Samantha, I loved your idea as well. I loved how bold you came out. You told your story about the acne. But unfortunately, I was looking more towards more product-based businesses. So for that reason, I cannot help you win. Samantha, I love your confidence when you walked out. Um, some things that really resonated with me are one, the reason behind you launching your business. Business is not easy and it's gonna be really, really hard along the way. I'm sure you've already kind of experienced some of those things. 
but you've shown growth today, both in terms of revenue and also your faith in taking a step forward and putting yourself 100% in your business. I do believe that I could help you in a couple different ways, but I definitely think be beneficial to maybe for someone else to come on board too to, to also open up new market mm -hmm. exactly and for and for those reasons um, no first again admiring really your your faith going full-time and and taking that that next step it takes courage so I, I want to applaud you first for that um, and as you said for all those reasons I think we can help you win and we can talk more about the, the details of what um, entails, but we are looking at from your first ask, which was $3,000 for a 5% equity. Um, Stephanie and I talk if we can give you $1,500 each for a 4% equity each. So. Well, thank you too for that. I appreciate it. And for me, uh, I'm, I own a cosmetology school. I'm mm -hmm. one of two schools that offer esthetician in the actual community. And for that reason, I believe that I can help you win because I understand the industry. I understand what you're going through in the industry. I understand what you're trying to achieve in the industry. And when you told your story about growing up with acne, that was one of those things that it touched my heart because I remember those days looking in the mirror, trying to figure out how am I gonna get rid of these bumps? Like, it was nobody out there to help me. And I can help you with branding. I can help you with marketing, advertising. One thing about me, I'm the full package. You don't just get somebody who already know the industry who's already making money in the industry, who already own a business that's worth over $2 million in the industry, but somebody who understand the concept of branding, marketing, advertising, and what it means to serve a customer. For that reason, I can help you win. Tough decision to make. <laughs> so yeah, um, just to, to counter what she said, um, I grew up in the media industry. Um, I don't just have local reach and just starting a business. I actually helped transform and innovate an industry. My career, I started in radio when I was 19 years old. I was a test market for Tribune Media, which at the time was one of the largest broadcast companies um, nationwide and invested globally um, in acquisition of Gracenote. Um, I definitely am a humble person, so I don't always lead the same way in terms of that goes. but. I am definitely um, somebody who can take you places and wants to take you places because I see myself in you. It's about truly helping you win. Um, and I think so Teresa- So definitely you, you guys are trying to go in or are you pulling me in with you guys? So <laughs> Teresa, I mean, I think, you bring, I think you bring a lot of value to the table. And I think, you know, the esthetician piece is huge. You said you have a place already that you, you operate out of and really mm -hmm. like. Um, so, and what, one thing about it, would, not only locally, because I have products that I sell worldwide that I have receipts for. So not just a local market, I have a global market. And when you think about, I have thousands and thousands of contacts worldwide in the beauty industry. Well, I appreciate that and I do agree you have amazing experience in the industry, but I really would love to take your offer, Stephanie. Um, I feel like I do need more of that um, marketing help and I did a lot of research and I know what you do. So I appreciate all three of you and I think I would take it off. Is she coming too? Yes. Is that yes. right? Okay. okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, Monika, I loved your cakes. They was delicious. I love sweet stuff. So, you know, it was really good. I don't know a lot about food. I'm like beauty industry, product sales, um, branding, advertising, but I don't do a lot with food. So for that reason, I cannot help you win. Um, again, Monica, delicious. Please keep offering to the world your amazingness. <laughs> um, zero calories. Zero, <laughs> and remember, <laughs> zero <that>. calories, right? <laughs> um, I think that same as I, I, as I spoke with, with Goodies and Patricia, food industry, it's really not my background. Again, marketing, photography, uh, video, and the strategy piece that I think you will be in better hands with someone else. So for that reason, I cannot help you win today. Hello, Ms. Malika. I was super impressed with your presentation today. Um, I, although I, I think I bring value both in the marketing but also in the connection piece of some things that we discussed today, I also think that in this situation, um, there is a partner too I think would be a good fit together. 
Um, since you're working full time, and I would like to see you jump in, but you have that great five year plan that I think that mm -hmm. that's attainable. We can focus in on that growth, get there, and either look at acqui an acquisition, a sale, or pay passing it down generationally for your children um, that we could employ some young people here that are looking to get into culinary. So for that reason, I would like to be a part of helping you win. And of course, I loved your business as well. <laughs> the cake was the best cake I had. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. But I can really see myself helping you when it comes to, I know you said you wanted to get your cost down. So of course I did a couple numbers. Just looking at what I can offer you as far as getting that packaging piece, the cost part of it down, and also getting you some custom packaging since you are gonna be able to get more packaging when you order in bulk. So you will be able to have that custom packaging piece. So I would love to work alongside with you, helping you get that content together, making sure on your, you're on the right social networking channels. So and for that reason, I would love to help you win along with Stephanie. So we were looking at, so you asked for 2,500. We wanted to go in with the 2,500 and do the 6%. So I'll go ahead and start. So Ashley, I loved your energy. I love the way those curls pop. Um, and I believe for sure I can help you win. Um, not only, you know, I feel like I know about hair. I'm in the industry. I know about products, branding. Um, I feel like not only can I help you win, but I would love to partner with Destiny. I feel like what she brings to the table is that social media aspect where she can help you tell your story and she can help you you know get out there more on those platforms and i feel like with my helping with branding and all the other parts getting some pretty photos of those ladies getting a whole branding campaign video production all of that together and get your own products and so with Destiny, I feel like she could bring that aspect, helping you tell your story, get that out there, and I can help you put together a great branding and marketing advertising campaign. I'm in the industry, I understand the industry, and it's great. Some people talk a really good game, and they can make everything sound good. And then you have some people who walk a really good game, who literally know what it is to take a product, make a product, to take a service, to sell a service, and actually make money. What can they bring to the table that's going to end in results? Great. Ashley, first of all, I'm kind of biased <laughs> because data research shows that um, the Latino Hispanic is the fastest growing population. And I think there is an opportunity to tap in that market. And when I say, and it's not just wavy, curly hair that, tend, that are Latina, but it's it's a cross-cultural bilingual marketing strategy that I can see going beyond our city. So for that reason, I can help you win. Mm -hmm. I, again, I love, love your story, I love your confidence. Um, one thing I really appreciated about you and everybody there is thinking ahead on that diversification and reaching out and helping others. You're coming from a place of telling your authentic story. You're coming from a place of right now thinking it taken six years to perfect this. That product space is going to be an important space for you. Um, and I do know, like on this table, we are blessed to have uh, all these ladies. Teresa does have experience in the beauty sector. She does have experience and does, does a great job in that space. Um, with product development. Um, as far as how I, I can help you win when you get to that phase, of course, relationships and opportunities and marketing for that. I'm, I'd be happy to, ha I would love to help you win. Um, I'm also on this one, I want what's best for you. And you have some really great talent at this table, you know, all of us, but that offer really unique spots of where you are today that can help you right now. And then some of us that can help you and I want to be with you long term. Okay. And I loved your business as well. One of the things that I really love that you have pointed out is that, is that you want to tell your story and you also want to tell your client's story. You also mentioned that you want to go into more video content, more long form content. And I feel like I'll be the perfect person to help you with that. I also noticed that you said that you wanted to do more ads. And with doing your video production, I can help you make the perfect ads that can convert for your clients. And I would love to help you win. Yeah. 
So actually, you have a good problem here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. have the four of us interested. Can I have all of you guys? But I'll say one thing that we're also offering is that we've all agreed to do at least 1,004%. And then you can work with a bunch of us and you just choose which ones you want to work with, which services do you think you'll benefit the most from? I would love to just work with Destiny because I feel like when you get too many heads in on a project, sometimes the project don't go anywhere. Some people think more people is better. I don't always believe that. I believe with Destiny we could be more focused. I'm willing to offer you $2,000 for 8% and Destiny give you the $1,000 for that 4%. That's 12% and that's $3,000 that you will get to do what you want to focus on in your business. And then, what were, were it's okay, <laughs> step into the space, I love it. You're gonna cross this every day. Say whatever's on your mind. Like, ideally, it's I would want all of you guys, <laughs> honestly. You ladies are awesome. Um, I respect what Teresa's saying. I've had office of success. The success in business, you need to have diverse talents at the table and different people with different skills every step of the way and it's going to change in your business as your business continues to grow and cultivate. And so as long as everybody knows their lane, right, we all have the thing, you know, and no one steps on each other's toes with that, you can construct a very successful, you know, business growth opportunity for the people that we're trying to invest in and serve. So I would be, I would be happy to look at it a couple of different ways. I mean, would you still want to go in? Three. I'm willing to work with anybody because I feel like what yeah. I offer is it's very different, different Me too. from what everyone yeah. else yeah. offers. Yeah, very different. Yeah, you know, and I think mm -hmm. we all bring value to the table, and I, I respect that. So, um, I guess I do two thousand. Mm -hmm. If you do, yeah. yeah so I mean. you could choose if, or are you related to go in all in too, or do you I still want? She's not. She wants well, to I say just want. these two. I have be so you have a decision like, to make. I have a vision. Or to go to it. And um, I really feel like. I'm, a, I'm able to sell hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of dollars of my product. Mm -hmm. Basically, in my business, I started my business for $1,600. It's worth $2.1 million. I do like to be focused. And I feel like what Destiny brings to the table is going to be very important. I feel like everything that Stephanie could bring to the table, I could also bring to the table. Now, I love her diverse piece <laughs> that she um, has about, you know, diversity and stuff oh like God. that. <laughs> but it's, it's your choice. You know, um, I really would love to work with you. I could visualize That's great funny. things for you. And the money is not a problem. So if you wanted more money, I would like to work with you with Destiny. And money is not a thing for me. And there's no way you want to work with all of them as well. Like, I, honestly, ideally, you each bring value in different ways. Oh, definitely. And I, really I think do. if we bring everybody, a best student here, everybody bring value. I, and I think that there's people that bring value now, and I think there's people that bring value in the future. And you, literally, you bring value now and in the future. Um, I'd say be, be careful here in one thing, and, if I, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak candidly. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to work with a lot of different people and personality types in your mm -hmm. business. Somebody who doesn't want to run your business doesn't try to exile someone else or say, I'm better. I bring everything no, that she no, brings to the table. No, nobody said I was so better. I would say, I said, I could bring I would, I appreciate, and I've worked with Teresa, appreciate her talents. We definitely bring different things to the table, and I will look at that more as a personality thing to say, what if, when I'm ready for my next level to buy that building? Right, and I want to start now looking and incubating other people, which is a goal goal of mine. Will she be able to shake hands at a table and be able to work with people Definitely. to do the right thing? I would try to think in your tables. shoes. What do I need now, and what, what do you need? Where do now? I want yeah. to go now? I, I'm, I didn't say she didn't bring value to the table. I said I know for sure the things that she brings to the table. Either I have it, or a partner that I have. Do. I have a million dollar company. If you get two people with a strong personality on the same table, then just like we're doing today, we're trying to make that decision and it makes the process take longer when we could get to the money. Do you want to get to the money with me? Because I can help you oh win. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I just want to thank you ladies for want, just having interest in me. Honestly, I, I can't believe it. I didn't think this was going to happen. I thought one person, I didn't even think, I don't know. I don't know what I thought, honestly. Um, you each bring so much value. 
Um, okay. I'm going to choose. Oh gosh, please no, don't hate me, anyone. Please, please, please. I think I am gonna choose you three. And I'm, yeah, I am. I am. I'm so, sorry, Teresa. Oh no, that's fine. This is so exciting for all of you. Monika, I want to start with you. What does an investment like this mean for you? I don't want to get so emotional, but... I don't know, it's making my dream and reality come to life. I think always as a kid, I used to think, oh, I can't run a business because people used to scare me with taxes and everything. And now to see me in my element and then getting two great investors to help me scale to the next level, I can see myself with the other two major Kate Jar companies being at that level. So I'm so excited and can't wait to see us win together. I can't wait to watch you grow. How do you feel? I feel amazing. I have two amazing investors that I'm very excited to help or to uh, work with and I'm excited to see where my business goes from here. What do you think you'll do next after this? Directly after this? Yes. Oh, I will be celebrating and taking a nap because it's been a long day. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And then you actually had a little bit of a battle happening there for you. <laughs> How did that feel? It, it's awesome. It's I can't believe that all four of them wanted me. Um, I I didn't even think any. I don't even know what I thought coming into this. So just the fact that four wanted me just shows me that I am on the right track. I can grow and I can do this. Um, I'm a little harder on myself. So just just all of that. I'm just like, ah, I'm just excited. I'm really happy. You all have an entire room here that are so excited and ready to celebrate you. So um, make sure you keep us posted. Can't wait to see where you go next. Yes. And that's it for our first episode of Let's Help Her Win. We're going to go on and celebrate and can't wait to have you on the next episode. You got good credit, made real sacrifice, so go and hey. live your life, now clap hey. it up, y'all.